West 2 reported last week that SeaWorld was permanently laying off many of its furloughed workers, but this filing with the state shows just how big the hit is. Almost 1,900 employees now out of a job. Brittany Nicholson is one of them. That just kind of shows to me that like we were always expendable. She worked as a performer at SeaWorld and she first heard about the layoffs on social media from friends, but didn't get the official word until days later on September 7th. The thing that hurts the most is that I will not be able to interact with the kids like I used to. That was the most important part of the job for me. In its filing with the state, SeaWorld breaks down the 1,896 jobs cut. Among the biggest, 455 food service attendants, 272 park operations hosts and hostesses, along with 123 sales clerks. The park's president saying COVID's effects are significant and sustained, and quote, park attendance has been impacted by self-imposed limitations, consumer concerns regarding COVID-19, and other factors. Many of those workers now join the tens of thousands of Floridians without jobs who are also dealing with smaller unemployment benefits. The Department of Economic Opportunity confirming today that while Florida has been approved for a fourth week of $300 federal benefits, that will be the last week. Nicholson is working another job now to fill the gap, and she says she feels like SeaWorld didn't think enough of its employees when it cuts so many from the payroll. I just wish the communication had been better. I that honestly would have put me at ease. So I've gotten maybe a, a max of two emails. Now, on that fourth week of federal unemployment benefits, the state says that if you haven't gotten that money already, you should be getting it sometime this week. Reporting live outside SeaWorld, Bob Hazen, West 2 News.